Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jim. I hope everybody's doing well. So today is about everyday carry for me. I live in a very large metropolitan area and I didn't think that really applied to me in a lot of ways, but I'm gonna tell you a story, kind of stay to the end and stay with me on this and see if this applies to you or not. I guess this is the best way to say it. What do you have in your pockets? What do you carry every day? Whether or not you're already carrying stuff that's designed like the typical flashlight knife and so forth is one thing, but there are things you carry in your pockets every day. Obviously everybody carries bank cards, wallets, and money. So I count that as an item. In Florida, I have the right to carry a gun. This has been on me for the better part of 40 years. Not this particular gun, this is a shield, but I've always carried. Obviously you need your car keys. I also have a house key. Now all my locks are electronic and everything works through the internet, my phone, my car, whatever. But there have been occasions I've come home and the lights are out, no power. What then? Have a key. It will help you get in the house. Believe me, it's very, very critical. The other thing I carry is a handcuff key and I carry a pair of handcuffs in my vehicle. The last thing I do or want to do is shoot somebody or anything like that, but I will detain somebody if I have to. I know that's probably something we can debate for hours, but whatever. So to get back to my original story, my dad's an elderly guy and he's very ill and he's in the hospital. Didn't leave me a lot of information. He's looking at long-term care or whatever. So I've been getting into knives as my videos have been showing. This knife I've had forever. This is a Crenshaw and I looked the price up the other day and I was really floored, it's about 80 bucks. I put a blade on it, you know, not a blade, but sharpen the blade. And it's pretty sharp. So I'll get back to this. I also have a flashlight now, a little low light. I know there's pros and cons on that, but whatever. Glasses, reading glasses are very important. So the, here's the story. I had to go to my dad's house and look for documentation, insurance stuff, whatever. He doesn't have any new LED lighting or any daylight lighting or anything else. He's got old incandescent bulbs. There's one literally in each room. You can barely see a damn thing, especially at my age. He's 86, I'm 63. So I'm, you know, <laughs> my eyesight's not great either. So with that said, I'm milling around the kitchen trying to, cause I know he keeps a lot of his paperwork and stuff in kitchen drawers. And I can't see a damn thing. I'm like, fuck. So I'm working around there, looking at all the shit. And I said, I got a flashlight in my pocket. You dumbass. What do you need to do? A freaking life saver. I got in his file cabinet. I was able to read everything. I was able to get the information I needed. I was able to do everything I needed to do. And this little flashlight, I think it was 30 bucks, was a life changer. So I carry this every day, the knife. I've used knives all the time and this one's pretty beat up. But the great thing about this was, I was finally getting hungry and my wife and we got some snacks as we're waiting. And I'm partially paralyzed in this hand and I don't have a lot of strength anymore in this hand. So with that said, I'm sitting here trying to open a damn bag of popcorn. Oh, there goes our clock. Let's give it a minute. I almost want to chant when that thing's going off. It's very loud and I apologize. I'm not gonna cut it out because it's cute. And it's 12 noon here. So, you know what time it is and it's a Friday. Not that it gives a shit to anybody, but may as well throw that out there. So at any rate, I opened this up, take it across the top of the bag of the popcorn. It was fabulous. 
absolutely great. Opened it right up. So in the matter of the first day carrying these two items, I used them both on more than one occasion when I was in the parking garage. That's another thing. We go to the hospital. Now I've been in this hospital a thousand times. My wife works at this hospital for years. Never been an issue. I always carried my gun in, despite what was on the door or anything else. I always had my gun on me. Freaking metal detectors for the first time they've been installed. So I had to go all the way back out in the parking garage and put away my firearm and my knife. The knife I had the night before, so I'm not like, you think I'm crazy and I'm thinking that I walked here with a knife. I did not. The other hospital that he was originally at did not have a metal detector. So it was quite a shock going to the second hospital to find it. So with that said, that's a bit of a problem. And that's why I wanted you to stick around toward the end. So, okay, I surrendered this. This is no problem. I get it. But if they'd have found this, would they or would they not have taken it? I don't know. If they found this, for sure they wouldn't let me in with it. So not only are they keeping us from taking in a gun, which I can't really fight with too much. I had to surrender that. But what's the deal with this? Is this going to become like the airports? Because that's what it seems like. And I get it. Don't get me wrong. There's personal safety in the hospital is definitely important. But with that said, my rights are important too. And being a law-abiding citizen, I find that it's a bit challenging. But we'll get around that. So I just wanted to make this little video of what I found by carrying two additional items for the first time and my experiences with it. And hopefully this is helpful to somebody else. I plan on building on this. I'm wearing pants now with cargo, you know, to that style with more pockets, which give me more flexibility. And by the way, you got to carry your phone. I would have that show that to you, but it's recording this video. He missed my phone in my pocket, oddly enough, as he wanded me the second time. And the metal detector was broke, apparently. So he's having to wand everybody. So it, it was just a circle jerk. But hopefully you'll find this helpful. Hopefully you like the channel. I am seeing an uptick on subscribers. I really appreciate it. Just subscribe and hit the bell. That would be awesome. I'm trying to build this and be a... Um, what? How, how, sh how shall I say it? I, I want to educate. I'm not in here for the money. I'm not here for any other reason. I'm just an old guy trying to make videos that hopefully somebody finds a little use out of. See you next time. Thank you.